Early on in the COVID-19 pandemic, restaurants everywhere struggled to stay afloat. The virus new and unpredictable. Every day I remember this feeling of like, if we can make it through today, We'll, we'll try to make it through tomorrow. Nearly two years later, that struggle is still the case for some. It's just been a pivot over and over and over again. We've built greenhouses outside. We've built uh, carports. We've built you know, barriers. We're trying to find a way to, to, not, to not close. Nate Tilden, co-owner of various restaurants around town, says the time has come to close one for good. Clyde Common in the heart of downtown. I mean, we were part of the movement that really put Portland on the map. What we did with Clyde Common, 2007, um, we created a hotel, bar, and restaurant that was independently owned. I was the owner with a couple uh, partners, silent partners. We said, what if this was like the place to be? Both food, both cocktail, uh, wine program, energy. I think we can do groundbreaking work, and we did. His objective now to keep open the restaurants that can thrive, like Bar Casa Valle in Southeast Portland. It's our duty to do everything we can to keep the lights on. During the COVID time, we were, we were just sort of ramping up <laughs> to full operation and then the fire. Back downtown, Bob Cassidy, owner of Cassidy's Restaurant on Southwest Washington, says despite a building fire above the restaurant last summer that forced a temporary closure, he's ready to return sometime this spring. Now, having had more time to reflect on what he wants this place to be for his customers as he rebuilds. We're gonna do fine. Uh, that it'll be, but it, it's gonna be different. It's uh, going to be different. It's going to be uh, a challenge, but everyone who's in this industry can say that same thing. Though setbacks persist, both say they're looking forward to the future of the industry and they're ready to work for it, hoping the scene will fully rebound. I think the Portland restaurant scene will come back. I mean, there's, there's no end to creative people who want to do cool things and want to go into business and make amazing food. Tilden tells me Clyde Common hasn't been making food or drinks since last spring as he tried to figure out what to do to keep going. After 14 years, he announced the permanent closure this weekend on social media.